in today's very special episode, something goes wrong with our Uline order. Something really wrong. So we head to Staples to fix it, run into more issues with our order, and then end the day with dessert. All of that and more in Vlogmas Day 9. You got this, Dempsey. Don't let him bully you. <laughs> hey, Jiggy. How you doing? Over there, by yourself. What an intense stare. <laughs> she didn't blink once. Hello again. I'm Good morning. I'm in the same spot, I think, that we started yesterday. <laughs> yep. Because the orders just keep coming in. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good problem to have. We love it. We love being busy. But with that comes a lot of making. This is the list of stuff to make because we are getting dangerously low on a lot of stuff. Can you understand my chicken scratch writing there? I can understand it. I just got today's video up and scheduled. Good job. I feel better today than I did the last couple of days. I think my cold is running its course. Yay for health. But like I mentioned, we have a ton of to-dos. We have to make lotion, I have to make shampoo. And Kale is also going to be painting those peach bath bombs I made yesterday. And that's pretty much it. Another busy day at Quench Bear headquarters, which is our house. So I'm gonna take a shower. Let me do some transition magic. And here is my look for today. My earrings, they are, if anyone has heard of my Melody, these are my Melody themed earrings. One is a strawberry and the other is Melody. And no necklace today, just keeping it simple and comfortable. A couple of minutes ago, we got a ding dong at the front door, and it was Uline coming with an order that we made yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, that's not what I ordered. Scratch that. This is most definitely what I ordered on accident. So sometimes things like that can happen, but good thing Uline has a good return exchange policy, right? You were on the phone with them for a yep, bit? Yep, yep. So what I have actually done is gone onto our online account with Uline and processed our return. And then it says a customer service agent will get in touch with us soon. So I'll await a phone call. Can it be arranged where like if I actually purchase the right product and another delivery is made, is there a possibility of kind of the, the charges being waived? So I just got off the phone with Uline and the charges for them to come back to pick up the, uh, the big roll of the bubble wrap is going to be about $29. Just the cost of doing business, I guess, sometimes I would gladly pay that to not have that stored in our garage or house somewhere. This is probably the second time we've ordered the wrong bubble wrap. I yeah. remember we've ordered giant rolls before on accident and we returned them. It would have taken us years to get rid of all that bubble wrap. <laughs> years and years and years. Yeah. So a busy and kind of a rough start to our morning. Kayla and I are going to go grab something out to eat for lunch and we'll take you along with us. And we also have to ship out these packages today, so we're going to do that all in one trip. Did you almost trip there? No, the uh, doorknob cut on my, the wall of my butt. <laughs> I just can't get over how big this is. Okay, here's what happened. Here's what happened. I ordered what I thought was, was 45 feet worth of bubble wrap, and this ended up being somehow 250 feet of bubble wrap. If you've ever wondered what 250 feet of bubble wrap looks like, here's four rolls of it. And the bubbles are giant too. They're so big. We wouldn't really have much use for our bubble wrap this size and this much of it. Could you get past that? <laughs> I don't know. That roll is so big, it's gonna be tight. So what was your experience like returning something to Uline? The thing about Uline is, and I've experienced this before, is you call that 1-800 number on their page and it's like one ring, boom, you're talking to somebody. You're not like, you're not waiting, waiting a yeah. long time to talk to somebody. It's like somebody right away. What can I help you with? And they're always efficient. Well, we ordered this stuff yesterday and <laughs> it came today. Their headquarters is in Edmonton, so they're not that far away from us. So that plays a, a role. But I remember when we would order from Uline in Ontario, it was also super fast. So I'm glad we got that taken care of. For lunch, we're going to head to this little coffee shop that we really like and we'll show you what we get.
Okay, those sandwiches are the best I've ever had. I'm not a sandwich person. I don't really like sandwiches that much, but I love the sandwiches from that place. And we were really full, so we took our desserts to go. And I'll show you what we got later on in this vlog. Did you like your, your meal? It was so good. It Yours was looks so, good. so good. Yeah, brie, bacon, and pear. And I'm a sucker for smoked salmon, as you guys know by now. Oh, you're gonna eat it right now? Yeah, I'm gonna eat it now. Oh, Kale's yeah. gonna eat this right now. I was trying to be like polite and be like, <laughs> turn it off because I want to eat it. Well, I was, I, I, I was, was saying I was gonna reveal later on, but you were already just gonna eat it. Well, I was planning on saving it for later, and then I was like sitting there, and I'm like, I could still eat something now. <laughs> I'll eat half of it now. And it was funny because it was Kale's idea to take these to go. I I, I could have eaten mine, but I'm already over it. Yeah, I gave myself insulin enough to like be having this, so I want to eat like, like half of it now. Want to tell them what it is? It's a, what was it? A, it's a choco... <laughs> choco caramel? Choco caramel, yeah. But I don't know, is it like a, is it gonna like collapse if I like pick it up? No, I think it's pretty sturdy. Kale had the choice between this one or the log, and he chose, he chose the ball. I chose the dome. Okay. Kale's taste test. Oh, yum. That looks so good. That texture is so good. Eat some. Okay, I'll have a bite. Picking a dessert was hard. They all looked good. Mm. Oh my goodness, yum! And for those wondering, this is not an everyday thing. Kale and I don't always go to a nice place like this for lunch, but it's good to treat yourself once in a while and we have been really, really busy. So that's really good. I can't wait to taste mine later. I'm gonna have mine later on today. Le Moulin Fayette. Doesn't that, didn't Chris say that means the windmill? Mmm. For those who speak French <laughs> that are watching, let us know in the comments. <laughs> okay. You take Canada. Okay, yeah. Canada. Dropped off the packages. We're gonna head now to Staples to grab bubble wrap. Old school. <laughs> Buying it in person. <laughs> Where we should have gotten the bubble wrap in the first place. We tried Uline, we tried Staples Online. We're just going to the store. Yep. You wanna go to Prairie Dog? We just ate. Oh, that's true, yeah. But I do want to try it sometime. moving it out of the way. <laughs> it's so much. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot. You got to pick a free thing with your order and I chose this thing in here. Let's bring it inside and we'll show them what, what I chose. Okay. If you guys are wondering what all these boxes are, they're jars. <laughs> so big. <laughs> what we were supposed to get, what I accidentally ordered. So my order from Uline was high enough that we got to pick a free thing and this is what I chose. Did you order all the bubble wrap just to get above the amount for a free thing? No. A magic bullet. <laughs> Don't we already have one of these? We, do, we did and then we got rid of it and now we have one again. It's free. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this so you can make smoothies? Yeah. Okay, because you, you have fruit in there. I do have that we bought months ago that we could make smoothies with. It's frozen, but it's so good. This is also, you know how at the start of every year you have a resolution? My resolution for 2023 is more smoothies, which I'll share with you guys on this channel. Oh, what's wrong? So I was bringing these into <gasps> here. Step one was bringing the garage to here, then here down there, and then when I lifted up some boxes, I heard some kind of Sound broken glass, so oh, Gibson, um, there's at least five. At no, least five? There's at least five broken ones, so I'm gonna start opening all the other ones from here, too. Okay. Yep. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. So I'll make another call to Uline. More calls to Uline. Okay, so the seven will be sent out. It's not, it won't be a refund. It'll just be seven more will come? Yes, that's okay. right. And no, I did not forget. Here is footage of Kale finishing off those peach bath bombs I made yesterday.
I think you need to fix that, Kale. It's like a leaf. The stem coming out. But that's the, that's like the... Okay. The crease. The, mm. the cheek. <laughs> Kale, I think... I think... Is there, why is there a green thing going downwards? Because that's the crease. That's the crease of the peach. But that, the crease isn't green. Okay. And I should have used black. Okay. Um, a lucky person that orders from us will get this sample peach <laughs> bath bomb. What did I tell you about the green leaf? It totally finishes off the look of this peach bath bomb. It just takes it from here to up here. That hum you hear in the background is me melting down ingredients for a shampoo bar that I need to make tonight as well. So we need to do that. And then once that's done, that's it for the makings of today. These blue beauties are my Georgian Bay shampoo bars and they smell like the ocean. They smell like water and sea spray and all of that good stuff and they're blue. I color my shampoo bars with water soluble dye and I only use like the tiniest bit but you get such a gorgeous color that won't stain anything and I'll just go down your drain. Even the bubbles that you get when you lather, they're not gonna be blue. They're just gonna be a really nice fluffy white foam and my voice is a little harsh because when I make things, when I press shampoo bars or make soap and I'm not filming, I'm singing. So that's why I sound like this. Let me know in the comments what music you guys listen to, if you guys like to sing too when you do your crafting or soaping or whatever. But now that that is done, I want to go upstairs and have dinner. Kale is making something good again. He is so, so good to me and I'll show you what that is. Oh, the tree looks gorgeous. Hi. <laughs> what are you making today? So today for dinner, we're just having some grilled sausages outside, but we've already shown you that before. But our new vegetable now are eggplant medallions. <laughs> and I'm gonna be brushing these with some olive oil, salt, onion salt, garlic salt. And these were the mini eggplants, right? The little. Yeah. These were Indian eggplants. I've never bought Indian eggplants before. Yeah, they were, they look like little, I wish we had kept one to show them, but. Yeah. I'll put a picture of it right here. This is what we're talking about, yep. right here. <laughs> So that dinner was so good. Baked eggplants, mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Maybe I'll grow those in the garden. Kill is constantly wanting to grow vegetables in the garden. So maybe that's his next big project for the summer. I promised you guys I would show you the dessert that I chose from Lafayette or Les Moulins. Lafayette, since Kale was too impatient, he already ate his. Oh, this, this box is so cute. Aww. It's a tiramisu out of its little box home there. Wow. Whoa. How many layers is that? <laughs> okay, Kayla and I are gonna take a bite of this. Let me just recenter it because it's about to fall. Yes. Yes. Oh, let me help you. I'm taking a bigger corn than you are. Yeah, you are. All right, cheers. That's so good. Yum. I love that coffee taste. Remember you guys, if you want to make those shampoo bars that I made today, those Georgian Bay ones, and those peach bath bombs that I made, the recipe and steps for those two things are on my Patreon, which is linked down below. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons. You guys are just so amazing, especially my bubble BFFs listed right here. I'm gonna put them in front of Kale's dark sweater. So they pop. <laughs> it was a little chaotic at first with that Uline order, but I'm glad we're ending it with tiramisu. 
Until the next video, guys, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and have a happy holidays with your loved ones, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>